Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In 2018, Belgium's announcement of joining the French Scorpion program marked a significant step in strengthening defense cooperation between the two nations. The procurement of 382 Griffin multi-role armored vehicles and 60 Jaguar armored reconnaissance and combat vehicles under the CAMO project not only enhanced Belgium's military capabilities but also laid the foundation for structural cooperation between the French and Belgian land forces. The primary objective of this partnership was to achieve complete interoperability, making the units of both countries interchangeable on the battlefield. This required aligning rules of engagement, converging on employment doctrines, and ensuring synchronized training and operational readiness. Belgian units participated in joint maneuvers in France, such as the Orion Exercise in 2023, showcasing the growing synergy between the two forces. Since its inception, the partnership has evolved with the introduction of CAMO 2, which includes the procurement of artillery systems and support vehicles. Furthermore, Belgian and French manufacturers have forged alliances to collaborate on the production of military equipment, fostering industrial cooperation between the two nations. General Pierre Schill, Chief of Staff of the Army, lauded the progress achieved through this partnership, emphasizing its catalytic effect on operational capabilities. The aim is to establish a seamless integration of French and Belgian units, going beyond mere equipment compatibility to embrace a common tactical language and doctrine. The CAMO partnership serves as a model for future European defense cooperations, reflecting the growing recognition of the need for collective defense initiatives in an evolving security landscape. General Schill envisions its replication across the continent, emphasizing the importance of developing a robust defense industrial base for enhancing collective efficiency in combat. However, the success of such partnerships depends on finding compatible allies with shared interests and principles. Colonel Luke, former director of the CAMO program, highlighted the meticulous selection process, which identified France as the ideal partner due to its alignment with Belgium's military, cultural, and political principles. In conclusion, the Franco-Belgian CAMO partnership stands as a testament to the power of collaborative defense efforts in promoting regional security and stability. By fostering interoperability and collective efficiency, it paves the way for deeper defense cooperation within Europe and beyond. That's all for now. See you later.